Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Mr. Kovalt and in this video I'm going to be going over a couple of examples where you can use Boyle's Law in order to help you uh, solve a problem that also involves uh, Dalton's Law partial pressures. So <clears throat> let's get into this. So for this example uh, we have two 1.0 liter containers. Uh, we'll call those A and B and they contain gases under 2.0 atmospheres and 4.0 atmospheres respectively. Uh, just FYI, for those of you who don't know uh, the word respectively, basically what that's saying is that these two uh, atmospheres that uh, are here, <clears throat> the, they are given in the same order and applied to the two previous containers in the same order. So respectively means that whatever order that these are in, uh, they're in the same order as given here. So uh, the gas in container A is at two atmospheres and the gas in container B is four atmospheres. Uh, so both gases are then uh, forced into a container C. So you're taking them from containers A and B and putting them both into container C where they're mixed together and container C has a different volume of 2.0 liters. So you're making the two gases go from 1.0 liter containers to a 2.0 liter container. And then they're asking you, find the total pressure of the mixture of gases in C. So the fact that you're going from one container to another container and that those containers have different volumes means that you're going to have to apply gas laws. And in this particular case, since the uh, only thing that we're told about these gases is that the volumes change and then the pressures are there, we're not given any information about temperature, we're not given any information about moles of gas or anything like that, so we can assume that those are constant. And so if those are constant, we can use Boyle's Law to help us here. So since uh, we have Boyle's, since we have two gases going from one container to a different container that changes volume, we're going to have to use Boyle's Law to figure out what the new pressure is for each of those gases in the same container, right? So in, in that container seat. So um, where's my marker? So we're going to have to use Boyle's Law, which is P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. And our initial conditions, our initial pressure and volume is when the gases are in A and B separately. And our final volume pressure will be when they're in gas C, when each gas is in gas C. So we'll have to do this for each of the gases separately. So for gas A, we'll have pressure of A. Actually, let me do this separately. We'll say for... Uh, gas A in container A. So P1 V1 equals P2 V2. So we're given that for gas A, it is it has two atmospheres and uh, the container is one liter. So that's going to be uh, two atmospheres times 1.0 liters, and that's going to be equal to P2V2. We're told that the uh, new volume is 2 liters in uh, container C. So we don't know the pressure uh, in container C. That's our final pressure. We'll solve for that. Um, but they are, we are given the, the volume of container C as being uh, 2.0 liters. And so now we could solve this for pressure. So then the pressure, the final pressure of gas A, when we do the math, is going to be 1.0 atmospheres. So 1.0 atmospheres. So that's the, that's going to be the pressure of uh, gas A in container C. When you move it to can container C, the pressure of A will be that new pressure. Uh, so then we do the same thing for 
gas B. So again, P1, excuse me, P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. And in this case, uh, gas B is again starting in a uh, one liter container and it has uh, atmosphere of four uh, atmospheres, it has a pressure of four atmospheres. So then it's going to be four atmospheres multiplied by 1.0 liters is equal to, again, we don't know what the final pressure is in container C, uh, but we do know the volume in container C, which is, again, 2.0 liters, so 2.0 liters. And then when you solve for P2, you get 2.0 atmospheres. All right, so here we have the uh, partial pressure of gas A in container C, and we have the partial pressure of gas B in container C. The problem here is asking us to find the total pressure of the mixture. So using Dalton's law of partial pressures, which says that the total pressure is equal to the sum of the, all the partial pressures of the gases, all we need to do is add the partial pressures of gas A and B after they've been moved to container C. So here we have one atmosphere, we have two atmospheres. So 1.0 atmospheres plus 2.0 atmospheres is equal to 3.0 atmospheres. So there is your answer. Okay, so that was the first problem. Let me go over the second problem involving Dalton's law, partial pressures, and Boyle's law. Okay, so here is the second problem. So in this case, we have three containers. Each one has three, uh, a different gas in each one, or it could be the same gas. It doesn't matter. So in this container, we have a gas, uh, and that container is 1.3 liters, and it has an, uh, a pressure of 3.2 atmospheres. In container B, we have a gas that is two, uh, in a container that is 2.6 liters, and the pressure of that gas is 1.4 atmospheres. And in this container, which is 3.8 liters, we have a gas that has a, temp uh, a pressure of 2.7 atmospheres. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take each of these gases and put them all into container D. And container D is uh, a, uh, has a volume of 2.3 liters. So then it's asking us, the question is, find the total pressure of the mixture in container, in container D. So just like the previous problem, since we have gases that are moving from one container to another container and the volume of the container changes, that means that according to Boyle's law, uh, assuming that the temperature doesn't change and the amount of gas doesn't change as we're transferring them from one container to the next, uh, the uh, change in volume is going to lead to a change in uh, pressure. So we need to calculate that new pressure in the new container first and then use uh, Dalton's law of partial pressures to add those, all of those partial pressures of the different gases together to get the total pressure of the uh, container that's in the container. All right, so let's get started on this. So we'll start with A. So gas A we got to use uh, Boyle's law. So P1 V1 equals P2 V2. So our initial pressure and volume is here. They gave us the initial. So we're going to plug that in. So we got pressure 3.2 atmospheres. So 3.2 atmospheres multiplied by the volume 1.3 liters. 1 3 liters 
and we're given the final volume 2.3 so that's going to be the new pressure multiplied by the new volume which is 2.3 liters and of course if we um, do the calculation we end up getting uh, a pressure of p2 equal to let me double check 1.8 atmospheres 1.8 atmospheres so that's the partial pressure of the of gas a so the gas in container a now has a pressure of 1.8 atmospheres in container d okay so what about container b so gas b now we'll do gas b same thing using Boyle's law, P1V1 equals P2V2. And so we're going to take our initial, plug those in. So we start with a pressure of 1.4 atmospheres, 1.4 atmospheres. And here the liters is 2.6. So we got 2.6 liters. And again, that's going to be equal to the new pressure, which is what we're trying to find multiplied by the new volume. So same volume because they're in the same container. So 2.3 liters. Solve this for P2. And you end up with P2 is equal to 1.6 atmospheres. 1.6 atmospheres. So <clears throat> the gas in container B now has a new partial pressure of 1.6. So that's going to be what we're going to need. And then finally, gas C, we're going to use a Boyle's law to find the new partial pressure of the new pressure of gas C in container D. So P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. We're going to plug in the initial value. So that's going to be. 2.7 atmospheres multiplied by 3.8 liters and that's going to be equal to p2 multiplied by the new volume 2.3 liters and again when you solve this equation for p2 you get p2 is equal to 4.5 atmospheres and you can see that all of this makes sense right so um, the uh, volume and pressure are inversely related to each other so if you see here you go one, from 1.3 liters to a larger volume you're increasing the volume here so you would expect a decrease in pressure so that's what you see you got a pressure of 3.2, you end up with 1.8 less. Okay, say so here again, you're going from 2.6 here, you're going from 2.6 liters to 2.3, so you're decreasing the volume, so you'd expect a slight increase in the pressure. So here you have a 1.4 atmospheres, and then you end up with 1.6, so you got a slight increase. And then here you're going from 3.8, large volume to a small volume so it's almost half so you'd expect a increase of double in the pressure so here you've got a pressure of 2.7 and here you got a 4.5 so almost double okay so now that we have the, the pressures of each of the individual gases in container d those are the partial pressures so now all you need to do is add those pressures together to get the total pressure according to dalton's law so the total pressure is going to be equal to these three pressures together. So 1.8 atmospheres plus 1.6 atmospheres plus 4.5 atmospheres. And that's going to be equal to a total of 
7.9 atmospheres of pressure. And so that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you can use Boyle's Law to, in conjunction with Dalton's Law to solve a problem. So uh, again, whenever you see uh, a change in containers and you've got a change in volume, um, you might want to think about uh, Dalton's Law or some other gas law that could uh, be used to solve for uh, the pressure or volume or whatever it is you're looking for before you continue. So I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed this video and this helped you in any way, please share my video. Hit that like button down there. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, hit that notification bell. As soon as you do, click all so you can be hit so you can be notified by all the videos I put out. And also finally put a comment down below in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for joining me. Uh, see you next time.